This recipe that we have for you is a beautiful salad recipe but a little different to the usual salad that you probably used to. It has some roasted sweet potato in it. Uh, very easy, you just get your potato, your sweet potato, peel it, cut it into slices and, and then put it onto an oven tray and with a little brush, just brush the oil on and allow that to just roast for about a half an hour or maybe a little more depending on your oven. It does need to be at 200 degree temperature for you to get a, a good result. Uh, and so these are the little pieces that I have already prepared for this salad. And tell me Jade, out of all of these ingredients, which would be your favourite ingredient? I think my favourite ingredient would be the sweet potato. Yes. I grew up with sweet potatoes in the Philippines. So you would have, <laughs> yes. Would be my yes, ingredient. yes. And did you used to roast them like this or you just cook them? We used to boil them. Yeah. We always boil them. Um, I suppose it was good because we didn't use a lot of oil. Sometimes mm. we would roast it, mm. but there's a recipe that you could all also cook it in oil. Mm. Um, but I think boiling it or um, grilling it would be the best mm. best um, way of cooking it. Yes, it is. Yeah, We need to be careful that we don't include too many fats in our cooking methods. And through these demonstrations, we've tried to share with you that you can just use a small amount of oil and still get a very good result taste-wise and texture-wise. And so for this salad, all we need to do is to put on some uh, various uh, salad ingredients like cucumber, and you just sprinkle them across. And you can prepare these individually or on a nice big salad platter, they, it actually looks very nice. And also some cherry tomatoes that we have just cut in half. That always brightens up the salad, doesn't it? There we go, that's probably enough. And these pieces of sweet potato that have been roasted, just pop them around where you think it looks nice or however Lovely. you want. Doesn't it look good? We can add some red capsicums. Yes. If you want to. Yes, to you could. Yeah, very good. And we've also got some macadamia nuts. The macadamia nuts are beautiful and it just adds a lovely nutty texture and so we're going to put them across as well. If you like nuts the way I do, then you would just say, put them all on, Sabella, and that's what I'm going to do. And then all that's left is just our, our dressing. And the dressing is macadamia nut oil and lemon juice. One tablespoon of lemon juice to two tablespoons of macadamia nut oil, or you could use olive oil. And you just drizzle that across. You hungry already? I'm very hungry now. You are. Tell me, Sibella, what can we get from macadamia nuts? Macadamia nuts have very good oils in them. Yes. The oils in nuts are very high in the essential fatty acids which the body needs. Um, and so using some nuts in your food is actually a very... Uh, good thing nutritionally. They also taste nice which is a real bonus isn't it? That's right. Yes. But nuts do add the good fats which helps your heart and your arteries to be healthy. Okay. It gives a good flavour. It gives good flavour as well, yes. There, would, there are also um, minerals in there like uh, calcium, there'd be a little bit of iron and the trace minerals would also be there. So they're a really good package. Mm. Now, macadamia nuts are the highest in fat content, so you don't need to eat a whole bag of them. And we as humans, we're interesting creatures. When we hear that something is good for us, we say, wow, this is what we need and we need to have a lot of it. And so we buy a big bag and we sit down in front of television and we just go through that whole bag. That's not the right way. It's interesting when you look at fats, uh, and we're talking good fats, 
the best benefit that you will receive from the good fats is when you have a small amount of these fats coming into your system, not large amounts. And that's not easy sometimes for us to remember, particularly if you really enjoy nuts like I do, and you probably do too. do too. And so a small handful, which is considered about 10 or 12, is plenty for a day. And they don't have to just be macadamias. I'm a great believer in the three keys of good nutrition, which are balance, variety, moderation. and moderation. And all of those keys are important, and we're talking about the moderation at the moment. Thank you. Thank you.